Good morning. Say good morning, mom. Good morning. Okay, so we're talking about how we think my house is straight up haunted. Like, I've always talked about this anyway. I know my house is haunted. I believe in ghosts. Totally not the point. So I was just in my bedroom. What was I doing? I don't know. Should we recreate this? Let's recreate it for you guys. We're gonna go balls deep. We're going in. Okay. So, there's a picture of my two dead dogs. Love them. They're cute. So, I'm walking out of my bedroom. I'm like around at this. No, where was I? I was like here. And I was like, did you take a shit <laughs> to my mom? <laughs> I just had like the biggest whiff that just smelled like someone dropped a giant shit. Okay? <laughs> and my mom's shit has a particular smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, you know when you live with your family, so, like, if someone, like, laughs or coughs, you know who it is? Because, like, they just, you just, like, live with them for, like, your entire existence. So, like, I know what my mom's shit smells like. But, so I walk into the hallway, I'm like, did you take a shit? And my mom's like, no. I'm like, it smells like pure, like, donkey ass someone took a shit. Yeah, my mom's got a whiff of your breath. No, I brushed my teeth this morning. <laughs> but... So, I'm like, okay, that's weird, but, like, it literally smelled like someone took a shit. So then, I'm like, Mom, let me tell you this really weird story that happened last night. So, it was 6.20, or this morning, early in the morning. It was 6.24 in the morning and 59 seconds. I was in my bed, like, fucking Cinderella, like, beauty sleeping, like, enjoying life, looking like a beautiful fucking darling. <laughs> right? Okay. So, like, I'm doing that. I'm sleeping. All of a sudden, it's 6.25. My alarm was blaring off. <laughs> and it's not like, oh, like my iPhone mistakenly had an alarm set on it or something. My cell phone from 2010 to 2012 that lives in the bottom of my sock drawer, okay? <laughs> like, it's just not like my cell phone. Like, it's my cell phone from five years ago, six years ago, holy fuck, I'm old, that lives in the bottom of my sock drawer. It starts going off the alarm on this cell phone. And I'm like, one, <laughs> how the fuck is this? alarm from my cell phone from six years ago going off in my sock drawer number two as soon as i heard the alarm going off i knew that that was my old cell phone alarm because i guess i i always use my cell phone as an alarm clock i never use like an actual alarm clock i guess my old cell phone like alarm clocks getting up in the morning literally gives you ptsd you know what i mean i'm like that's my old alarm I go I look up I look at my dresser where I like my sock drawer is and I see like a fucking light flashing out of my fucking sock drawer and I'm like how the fuck is my cell phone alarm going off on my phone from six years ago I'm like did I maybe go on my sock drawer yesterday and mistakenly hit it and turn on my cell phone and that's the reason that it went off but I'm like if it happened to be the case I'm like into the six years that I've had that cell phone in that drawer, this is the first time that ever happened. That wouldn't make sense. Two, the last time I was on that cell phone and turned it on was a, literally a month ago. It was when my parents were like halfway across the country visiting my brother. I was talking to one of my friends and this is someone who I've been friends with for a really long time. So I was like, oh my God, let me go on my really old cell phone from six years ago and see if like the old text conversations are in there because we were like reminiscing. And they were in there, they were really boring, like it was really benign, didn't mean anything. But I'm like, that's the last time I had the cell phone go off. So, like, if the alarm was gonna go off, it would have gone off every morning for the past month. So, mom, I think our house is haunted, that's the moral of the story. That, that's gonna be a one taker vlog today, like, literally my house is haunted, like... Next, I'm gonna get like raped in my sleep by a ghost, like you know, scary movie too, and she like gets raped. No, they're, they're friendly ghosts we have here, like Casper. Yeah, okay. Until it turns out to scary movie too, when you get raped in your sleep by a ghost, so that's totally fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah, didn't she enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking remember. Was it was it Tori spell? No, it was, Tor was, was Tori yeah. spelling it. She got raped by a ghost. So yeah, no, I think she had a cigarette afterwards. <laughs> I don't fucking know. The other guy who had the apple got rolled up like a joint, so who the fuck knows what the ghost is going to do next. Quick addition. So I would help my mom empty the dishwasher because I'm just a, such a good child. And the fork fell on my foot and I was like, ow, I just got stabbed by a fork. And my mom's like, okay, next vlog. So this is the next vlog clip. I just got stabbed in the foot by a fork. It wasn't by a ghost. So we're going to say it was by a ghost just for sake of this video. But it was just my... <laughs> But it was, exactly, it was just my, but it was just my own stupidity, but like, yeah, karma's a, karma's a fucking ghost bitch.